So are IVIG and plasma phoresis the same? No? How do they differ? We're going to talk about that. So if you've been watching my IVIG series, then you understand by now that IVIG is an infusion of antibodies, aka immunoglobulins, through the vein, and they help support maybe somebody who's not making enough of their own immunoglobulins, like in primary immunodeficiency, or they have an autoimmune disease like myasthenia gravis or Guillain-Barre syndrome, that they are making antibodies that are abnormal and they aren't distinguishing between healthy tissue and not healthy tissue or its own tissue. But what about plasmapheresis? What is plasmapheresis? Better known as PLEX or plasma exchange. So plasma exchange is a blood separation technique thought to remove autoantibodies. And as I stated just before, autoantibodies are antibodies that mistake their own tissue or organs and attack them and just really sets off a chain reaction. And a plex treatment consists of replacing the entire calculated equivalent of blood volume with the intention of removing I love you. Bye -bye. these autoantibodies that are causing this, this issue. So to clarify, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, IVIG is an infusion of other donors' antibodies. So blood plasma is collected from thousands and thousands of donors and it is uh, purified through something called fractionation. Again, don't ask me to try and explain it. Highly complicated process, but anyway, uh, the antibodies are purified and then it is delivered intravenously or through the vein to chronic illness patients uh, with the intention of providing a surplus of healthy, normal antibodies to help their immune system overcome and overtake the abnormal antibodies that are being produced and quiet down the whole process that's going on with their chronic illness. Plex is plasma exchange. So somebody will go in, they'll have their total blood volume calculated, they'll sit it's kind of like a dialysis machine, technically. They'll sit, they'll have their total blood volume uh, removed, not completely removed. It's not like they're taking out their blood and then, but essentially they're, they're removing the patient's blood, cleansing it through a system, removing the thing, the thinking is to remove all of these abnormal autoantibodies, causing this chronic illness and wreaking havoc, and then returning the same person's plasma back to them a little later on the autoantibodies. So hopefully that clarifies things for you. I know a lot of people can get kind of confused, like, well, it's, it's antibodies. It's both got to do with antibodies. So isn't it the same thing? No. So plasma exchange and IVIG are both sometimes referred to as rescue or bridge therapies. And that's because in, in acute uh, exacerbations or you know um, illnesses that all of a sudden get worse out of nowhere, these are called exacerbations. But in these situations, we need something to work quickly. And both IVIG and plasma exchange have been shown to do that. So sometimes they will do plasma exchange followed by IVIG. Sometimes they'll use one versus the other, but they're both shown to be very beneficial in getting somebody over the bridge until maybe their regular or other medications uh, will work. 
so it kind of bridges the gap to get them through the exacerbation, help them feel a little better, maybe regain some of the muscle strength that they lost during this exacerbation. Interestingly enough, plasma exchange can also be given right before surgery to kind of boost the immune system and help prevent complications post-op. It can also be used in people who need to reduce the amount of steroids that they're currently taking because long-term use of steroids is fraught with issues. And usually the goal is to get somebody off of steroids as quickly and effectively as possible. Sometimes they just need something to get them over the hump so they can slowly taper down those steroids and not cause all kinds of other issues. When, when we end steroid therapy too quickly, it can really it can cause more issues than the issue that they're taking the steroids for. Let's put it that way. It's, it's actually kind of dangerous to take somebody off of steroids, especially if they've been on them for a really long time. So ultimately, is one more effective than the other? Is IVIG better than plasmapheresis or? No. Is one sometimes used? along with the other or versus the other? Yes, it depends on the, the condition as well. Sometimes uh, one chronic illness is shown to have a better response to one versus the other, but they're both used very frequently for the same reason, as I said, to bridge the gap in those therapies. So if you have any other questions about plasmapheresis or IVIG, Drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Slowly taper down the, ther the steroid. <laughs>